How to select para-virtualization interface in VirtualBox? Given a Windows 8 host system, Intel Core i5, and a Linux Fedora host, I would like to determine the optimal setting for the para-virtual interface. Options are None Default Legacy Minimal Hyper-V KVM This page suggests the selection is only based on the guest system. The biggest change in VirtualBox 5.0 is the introduction of para-virtualization support, bringing higher performance and timekeeping accuracy to supported guest operating systems, Hyper-V on Windows and KVM on Linux. Is that correct? The VirtualBox manual, in the section titled Paravirtualization Providers explains very clearly when each should be used, emphasis added. Minimal, announces the presence of a virtualized environment. Additionally, reports the TSC and APIC frequency to the guest operating system. This provider is mandatory for running any MacOS. X guests. KVM presents a Linux KVM hypervisor interface which is recognized by Linux kernels starting with version the 2nd of June 2025. VirtualBox's implementation currently supports para-virtualized clocks and SMP spin locks. This provider is recommended for Linux guests. Hyper-V presents a Microsoft Hyper-V hypervisor interface which is recognized by Windows 7 and newer operating systems. VirtualBox's implementation currently supports para-virtualized clocks, APIC frequency reporting, guest debugging, guest crash reporting and relaxed timer checks. This provider is recommended for Windows guests. The other options in the drop-down do the following, as explained in the Spox Manage docs. None, specifying none explicitly turns off exposing any para-virtualization interface. Default, the option default, will pick an appropriate interface depending on the guest OS type while starting the VM. This is the default option chosen while creating new VMS. Legacy, the legacy option is chosen for VMS which were created with older VirtualBox versions and will pick a para-virtualization interface while starting the VM with VirtualBox 5.0 and newer. Let's be more precise, because I have 4.3 migrated VMS, and those are legacy. Also I was interested in what setting to use, if I copy VM from Linux to Windows or vice versa. Paravert provider none vertical bar default vertical bar legacy vertical bar minimal vertical bar hyper vertical bar KVM. This setting specifies which paravirtualization interface to provide to the guest operating system. Specifying none explicitly turns off exposing any paravirtualization interface. The option default, will pick an appropriate interface depending on the guest OS type while starting the VM. This is the default option chosen while creating new VMS. The legacy option is chosen for VMS which were created with older VirtualBox versions and will pick a pair virtualization interface while starting the VM with VirtualBox 5.0 and newer. The minimal provider is mandatory for Mac OS X guests. KVM recommended for Linux guests and Hyperv recommended for Windows guests
These options are explained in detail under Section 10.4, Para Virtualization Providers. From Manual Chapter 8. So if you have upgraded VirtualBox to version 5 in Linux, just select KVM or default, start VM and check if it works correctly. If yes, just leave new setting. If you migrating slash moving VMS from Linux to Windows, I recommend to have default option, which makes automatic selection of best virtualization interface. Just new to sense, based on my own tests. I had tested with a Windows 10 guest, running on a Windows 10 host and on a Linux host, or at least I had tried. Not to mention, all virtual disks I use are immutable, to ensure identical tests. On Windows 10 host, the guest runs normally, maybe a bit slow, but it boots and desktop is shown. Para virtualization is default. If I try same virtual machine on a Linux host with para virtualization default the Windows 10 guest does not boot, it boots till dots move in a circle, then after a while it freezes. No way to reach login, neither desktop. Remember all disks are immutable. But as soon as I set para virtualization to her red data, it is in Spanish, it boots and reach desktop. But sometimes, remember all disks are immutable, it reboots, while other times I can use it, very, very slow, so there must be a race condition somewhere, since with immutable disks it does not always do the same. Ah, by the way, the Windows guest has no internet access to be sure no internet connection can make things work different among cold boots. Remember. All disks are immutable. All are reverted back on each cold boot. Windows guest does not always work. With para virtualization on default it does not even boot on Linux host, but boots well on Windows host. With para virtualization on Heredata it does boot on Linux host, but it is not always stable to let you use it. I had also tried enabling slash disabling 2D and 3D, also pi slash nx, because I want the same guest, virtual HDDS copied from one host to the other, be stable on two different hosts, also I want to be able to copy virtual HDDS from one host to another host after I make any update, before doing a cold boot, merge immutable disk with its parent to make changes permanent and not get lost, aka using clone v, I do not use snapshots only immutable disks. That is what I had seen, I must do more tests with other para virtualization values, just in case any one works better on the Linux host. I do not use Mac, nor OS slash 2, only Windows host and Linux host, both hosts are on different physical hardware. Version, Windows 10 guest is home 64 bits and version is 1809.17763.379. Hope this help others, test and test and retest, better with immutable disks, any combination of values till find one combination that works, it seems that is the only way to make a guest run on different kind of hosts, Windows slash Linux.